In our devotion, we want to show you that we are all the body of Christ. We are all a necessary piece to the great puzzle that is our amazing God. And now, let's work into the next section. Take it away, Phil. <laughs> Jesus knew they were discussing. Jesus knew what they were discussing and said, Why are you talking about the fact that you don't have any bread? Don't you grasp what has happened? Don't you understand? Are your hearts being resistant to what God is doing? Don't you have eyes? Why can't you see? Don't you have ears? Why can't you hear? Don't you remember? When I broke five loaves of bread to those 5,000 people, how many baskets full of leftovers did you gather? They answered 12. And when I broke seven loaves of bread to those 4,000 people, how many baskets full of leftovers did you gather? They answered seven. Jesus said to them, and you still don't understand? The Lord shows his love in the craziest of ways. And if you don't have obstacles in your life, you can't tell the good from the bad. Um, in my life, I had, I've had misfortunes happen, like we all have, and um, I don't spend my life being sad about them and <coughs> remorsing over them. Um, some background information is, um, when I was five years old, my mom died from breast cancer, and um, at the time, it, it really wasn't, it didn't affect me because I was so little, I didn't understand the concept. And um, my dad also had a really bad drug addiction, and he still does. But um, also at the time, I didn't understand. And I, it didn't affect me. Um, the time between my mom died and the day I moved in with my, my grandparents it is kind of blurry. And I, I really don't know what a lot of happened, but I know that it was messy and I needed to move in with my grandparents. Um, but with that information, we can get into my story. Um, God saw what my brother and my sister and I were going through, and he told my grandparents, he said, you guys cannot retire yet, and you guys can't move to Florida. You need to stay in Catonsville because I have shown you my love and compassion, and now you are going to do the same for these kids. And we moved in on St. Patrick's Day. Um, and um, my grandparents are so smart. <laughs> the first thing, like what they put me and my brother and my sister in, they, um, they put us in therapy and church. And <laughs> that because it's helped me a lot. <laughs> and um, so for a while, everything was perfect. I, I thought, wow, my grandparents are really great. I love them so much. But the concept of my mom dying affected me when I got a little bit older. And I missed her so much that I was blind to see the perfect mother that God gave, has given me mm -hmm. in replace of her. And um, a little bit after that, I like started to be affected by um, my dad not being in my life. And I feel like it turned into kind of an acceptance issue that I just wanted to be so popular and I wanted to be liked by everyone because I couldn't be liked by my own father. But I was so blind that I didn't see the perfect father I had right in front of me who loves me no matter what. And um, so, but these mentalities, with these mentalities, I failed to see the good things in my life because I was so blinded by the bad things. And I started going to church a lot, and I started paying attention to the good things that were in my life. And um, I realized that I had so much to be grateful for that it overpowered the bad things that had happened to me. Um, hold on. Um, I had so much going for me. I had friends, my church family, my normal family, and my parents give me everything that I ever want. Um, going to church and praying to God and believing in God, none of that 
matters if you don't pay attention to what God has to tell you and what God has in store for you. And like I said before, without the obstacles, you would not be able to see the good through the bad. And without my parents not being there for me, I wouldn't have my second set of parents, and I wouldn't be in the church, and I wouldn't be in Costa Rica right now. But that is what God wanted me to do, is be here and tell you my story. So God shows his love in the craziest ways. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm.